Josh on Coast Mesa R&D. Well, today we have an MG connecting rod, and our client has asked us to try and remove some weight off of this. And let's go ahead and weigh this up and see what it weighs. Looks about 898.6 grams, which is uh, quite a bit. We've already modified one, and we've actually taken off about 140 grams thereabouts. As you can see, we've machined one side and the other. And it looks like it's way offset. That's because the rod is offset in the bore. So I'm going to show you how this is done. Jack, I've actually had to take and open up our notch here in the uh, bed of the lathe so that the rod will clear. And that's important because you don't want the thing to uh, hang up. Well, we're going to start off by touching off on our rod and setting our dial here at zero. You always want to make sure that your connecting rod is going to clear the bed of the lathe. And we set our RPM about 250 RPM. We're going to dial over about 50 thousandths. thousandths off this side. You gotta remember that the rod's offset, so we have to take more material off this one side.
little bit. looks like off the machine nice and warm um, as you can see we've taken quite a bit off of this one side to 150,000 south this side and I've got us down 125 grams so the last thing we'll have to do is run these through the uh, shop peen machine and so we can peen these out a little bit increase the surface tension on them uh, we'll resize the big end and then we'll be ready to ship these off. Probably gonna cut some notches in here for some oil squirters in here. So we'll do that before we shop them. Anyway, if you have questions about these old MG rods or anything, or you need to have these done, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.